so a lot of offensive things are funny and that's kind of how I was raised especially being born in Brooklyn you know it's very normal to curse a lot there even if you're a kid at least with my mom and that was her sense of humor very like offensive right humor she was a black woman so she was very sassy in right. that sense so I guess that's why it all kind of went well for me so it was just it was almost like uh, going across boundaries with sarcasm or parody to to make a point comedically yeah I think sometimes you can have shock value in it too for mm -hmm. something being offensive and funny but um, you don't want to just be offensive and there, there's a way to do it so if you're offensive but it's not funny it's, it's just seen as oh you're wow you're so edgy right. it has to be in that nice overlap middle area so has 4chan evolved since those days when you were first visiting and not I don't know if you go there now at all but I mean but as far as the humor uh, they still hold true to their roots of being offensive with their humor and that's what makes it so special it's kind of like the last place of the wild west of the internet right. but what's unfortunate about that is over the years the moderation's gotten more strict to the point where they started memeing about jannies janitors are the free mods right. they don't have as many tools but they can temporarily like ban people right and so if I feel like a part of that funny culture was lost with that, with the Jannies abusing their power and banning people just for like being funny by being a little bit offensive. Did that affect you personally? Um, I think the whole internet is affected by it. I think what happened on 4chan is a reflection of what happened to the entire internet. You know, it used to be a cool place where there's all these little niche things and you could say whatever you want and it was funny and it was like the Wild West, but now it's become very sterilized and so you see that with the websites we don't have personal websites as much anymore now we just have like Twitter we have Facebook and it's just very milquetoast in comparison it's not as fun anymore but even back then 4chan content migrated onto social media but it, I guess your point is is that the stuff that does make it on the social media it either gets shut down immediately like it didn't used to do or it's more milk toast now. Yeah. It's just not, there's no potency to it. Yeah, it's um, it's very sterilized because they uh, see a lot of the internet. They don't even realize like what the root of it is, like where everything came from. All the right. 4chan literally invented pretty much all these memes. Like Pepe was popularized right. on there. Right. Um, huge culture things right. were originated from 4chan. So right. um, now it tends to be when it makes it to these websites, they just you know censor it, ban it, and so there's less humor in a way they kind of killed off even some segments of humor back in the day when i started streaming on uh, twitch i did a lot of satire i played a character where i was like the bimbo fake gamer girl right and was that a parody yeah okay and so what was the point of the parody just to, the, what, was it to get attention or was it just to a like, little a little bit of attention because it's my job to do that right. um and also to make fun of a stereotype that also made me mad. So it was like kind of satisfying when I made other people mad from that stereotype, that archetype of girl. So it was kind of funny and gratifying to me in that way. This is really basically your, your community at that point. So that's, that's something you pioneered for yourself. Yeah, I think that satire though, unfortunately, isn't in the meta anymore because now everything's gotten so it's become such a clown world that mm -hmm. satire is no longer funny because it's too close to the actual thing. Like if I said something hyperbolically, it's like, no, wait, that's actually, that's actually how that is. So for example, the other day I was going to make like a parody thing of something I saw on YouTube. It was right. like, why I left my liberal college. And I was going to be like making fun of that. Like, oh yeah, they literally tried to inject me with hormones. And then I was like, Oh wait! Like forcibly inject hormones. I was like, oh yeah, they do that to children. Never mind. <laughs> so it's like, when it's too close to that reality, it, it makes it so satire is not funny anymore. <laughs> Dystopia has beat us to the punchline at this point. It's like what used to be uh, almost a punchline or just unthinkable is a reality. I have a question because I'm a, I'm I'm a fan of Sam Hyde's comedy, mm -hmm. and you're touching on where comedy's at now. I dubs is saying you have to explain. You have to explain your humor. Sam Hyde, he what he was doing back in the day before everything went woke. Mm -hmm. He's still doing, you know, and he's never explained it. 
In my opinion, I would say that Sam Hyde would be a representation of the old internet and the Wild West and offensive humor. And iDubs would be a representation of the modern internet and very Reddit uh, sanitized humor. So he's, he's kind of acting as the mod. I mean, not, it's almost ironic that he, he did a thing called Content Cop because he kind of morphed into that. He's literally like a 4chan Janny. Howdy there cowboys and cowgirls, and welcome to the Meme Ranch. Round these parts we like to keep the content flowing. Everything from exclusive interviews to man on the street, documenting events, art, culture, politics, food, and so much more. Exploring different cities, towns, and places off the beaten path. Visit memeranch.com to check out what we have to offer. Step up your fashion game with some of our unique custom apparel. Or even step up your collector's game with a custom piece of art designed by world-renowned sculptor and painter, x -Foller. Check out his 2020 collection, Pandemic Paintings. An exploration of our own near-dystopian, post-internet existence, wherein the artist makes a sincere effort at grasping the perspective of the Western shared subconscious. It's time for a digital renaissance. Join us in making it happen at memeranch.com.